Okay, today I got the uh, flame zoom, pure sine wave inverter, 1500 watt. That's for my new solar deal. Uh, that is the instrument panel. I'll leave a link there to. Uh, you can look on the website and um, it basically shows your uh, input and output. And uh, error codes will be in that instrument panel there. The uh, it's where you hook your uh, battery cables up. You can see it does come with covers. Two fans. They operate on uh, temperature and uh, voltage. Depending on how much, how many amps you're pulling, uh, they can come on that way or by the the uh, temperature. Let's slide around here real quick. Uh, two USBs for your regular sockets, and uh, you can hook it up to the uh, regular. AC line there and uh, since I bought the uh, transfer switch uh, that was a selling point for me is I could hook the uh, the 120 up to that um, it makes it uh, a little more organized place for your ground wire it's a uh, Check it out and uh, throw one of my batteries outside there and uh, with a, a light and uh, use both of those on it. Uh, let it sit a couple hours, uh, just turned on. Uh, Bowlies didn't seem to go down any on the battery, just sitting there, so it's got low, uh, low current draw. I believe it's uh, 0 0.3 is what they say on their website there. Hey, these are the goodies it comes with. Uh, a little ground wire. When you put on the nut there. And the other one's just a clip. Of course, my situation, uh, I'll be using a longer one. So by that. This is like a... Uh, that's well, a metric size wire, I believe a 23 millimeter, uh, which is back up four gauge. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, two gauge myself, so I have to order that yet and uh, get the circuit breaker for the two gauge. Uh, it comes with a little wrench. Uh, it shows it comes with four fuses. Mine came with two, which is all right. That's not an expensive deal. And it's your remote power switch on and off, which is I like because I don't have to cut a hole in my wood and uh, try to insert this in, in there. I can just two screws and it's it's mounted and I do like that part about it and it comes with the uh, manual of course uh, this is kind of the uh, codes you know if you have a problem no AC and all that uh, you know no power output voltage can it drive the load? Well, you can't drive your load. It's usually too small of wires. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good manual. If this comes in, hopefully this comes in. This is the uh, instrument panel. Shows the battery. Um, little icon there on the top right. 12 volt. That's what I'm using, of course and your power output below that 
and if any codes that will come in here it's in a red oh, I'll flip through here quick to see if there's anything else here there's a uh, there's a section with all the faults in this of course it's probably in the front see if I can find it real quick there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could have worn you eight different uh, codes there. Uh, that way you don't have to fumble along and try to see what's really going on it. If if it does go wrong, short circuit, uh, short circuit protection, front board overload protection. Thermal protection, full load alarm, over voltage, low voltage, input voltage, under voltage alarm. So, if you have any of those problems, it'll warn you about those, which uh, it's pretty elaborate. So, that's just a quick review on this one. Like I say, I've had it uh, no problem running on the drill and a light. Of course, it wasn't, uh, you know, it's not a big load on it, but, uh, it, you know, I, I let it sit out there a couple of hours, uh, you know, just sitting on. To, you know, if it's going to fry itself, it's going to do it right away, so I wanted to get that done outside. So it does work. Uh, it has a very good price, I thought, uh, $156.95. I think it's a very fair price. And uh, when I get back and uh, get all my wiring and circuit breaker, I'll make another video here. Tell you all how, it's, how the reliability is going to be on it. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you uh, like my stuff here, give me a subscribe and maybe at least like my video. Thank you.